Hi everyone, Trudy Vysotsky here and welcome. I'm going to, over the next sort of few months, just do uh, some really short recordings on questions that have come from Canva Club members and I'm not going to be able to do it for every single question, but I'll be doing it for those that um, I think that might be of interest of other people as well. So this is one of them. I received a question about how to create um, some of these I guess little effects around the edges now again some of you like me have been using, using Photoshop for like 15 20 years so um, it you know it, it can be quite complex in other systems um, and it really can depend I mean there's just so many different variables of how this was created but I wanted to show you some simple ways that you consider uh, creating something similar within Canva so let's find the one here so let's just start with a blank canvas. Just I was just playing around in here. And the reason I was playing around is because uh, Canva, uh, the free version is always changing. It's, it's removing the amount of photos it has. It's changing the amount of elements that you can have. And I guess obviously they're trying to divert people into the pro version. Uh, but as I've said many times, please be sure you're going to use it. It is a cost per month and if you're not going to use it, it's not the va that much value to you. You can do just as much just by uploading some other things, which is what I'll tell you what I've done here. So all I did is I went and looked for um, a photo of a red dress and uh, once again, thanks Canva for removing so many of your free features. <laughs> uh, obviously, I don't work for Canva. Um, so let's just say we've got this found this here and you can see obviously when you hover over it it either says free or it's pro version so you can look for the free ones there and I just found that photo and then what I did is I went into elements and I searched for glitter couldn't find um, much free glitter that I liked so what I then did I went to um, my uh, to my web browser and I actually put in glitter splatter so this is again one of the ways that you can uh, override having to use the pro feature. So I went to Glitter Splatter, found one that I liked um, and uploaded that into my design instead. Okay, so basically uh, I uploaded it into here, it's here, and then I grab it and I can drag it around and put it wherever I want to put it. Okay, so they're the sorts of... Um, glitter splatter or whatever you want now the other thing you can do is you can actually just go and look for paint splatter and then again there's a lot more free versions of this here and you can go and find the paint splatter that you like and i'll uh, go and have a look again so it might be something like that you know, you might want to try and do it more with a golden colour or whatever. Play around with the colours that you want to get. So again, you know, you could be there for ages just looking for the plate splatter. Um, and really then just changing the colour. So pretty much what I've done above. I've found a few different ones that I liked. And so... Again, depending on what you're looking at to do. So that is uh, the first video for that particular tutorial. You can pause at any time, slow it down, but go and look in the elements, look for the free types of, uh, um, I guess, effects that you're looking for. But if you can't find it, go to your web browser, type in glitter splatter, make sure it's a PNG, make sure you upload it in a high resolution quality. If you've been watching all of my video tutorials, you understand all of the things I'm talking about right now. So, and while we're here, because I know I've had people ask me in the past, I've created something, a few posts to do with coffee. Here are the coffee splatters. I love those coffee splatters, probably because I'm a uh, avid iced coffee drinker. But again, uh, paint splatter, go and have a look at that. Um, good luck, happy creating. I'll be sharing some more videos with you soon. Uh, in answering some of the questions that have been asked. All right, go and practice because that's the best way to do anything is practice. All right, happy creating. Talk to you again soon. Bye for now.